A short time ago, jurors found the man who shot and killed a Black Lives Matter protester in downtown Austin guilty of murder. The verdict against Daniel Perry comes nearly three years after Garrett Foster's death and after two weeks of trial and a day and a half of jury deliberations. KXN's Jayla Washington is live for us at the Travis County Courthouse. Jayla. Hey, Daniel, Jennifer, this was not an easy decision for jurors to reach. They spent hours deliberating. Some of them looked visibly upset, even looking like that they had been crying. Attorneys on both sides were very, very good, but ultimately it came down to who the jury believed and who was responsible for starting the altercation. I want to show you now the moments right after inside of the courtroom that verdict was read. <laughs> Perry's mother instantly leaned over and began sobbing. Perry even losing it himself. Apparent shock on both sides. Some legal experts I spoke to ahead of the trial telling me they even thought Perry was likely to be found not guilty, saying the state would not be able to prove beyond a reasonable doubt that Perry acted in self-defense. Now, it's hard to say what it could have been that led jurors to make this decision, but one of the strongest pieces of evidence from the state private Facebook messages between Perry and his friend talking about an eerily similar situation in Seattle where a driver shot and killed a protester after driving into the crowd just six weeks before Perry shot and killed Foster. Here's what Foster's family had to say after the verdict. Very sorry for his family as well. It just There's no winners in this and uh, just glad it's over. Now, as far as what's next, uh, we did see Perry placed in handcuffs directly after this verdict was read. This is it was kind of a powerful moment because up to this point, we've actually been passing Perry walking down the halls of the courthouse. The DA also sent out a statement saying that they're just uh, thankful to their dedicated attorneys and they're thankful that Foster's family has a sense of closure now, but a very sad situation, lots of emotions, a sad situation all the way around as this has been a trying situation for all involved. Daniel.